everybody, it's Alyssa and today I pierced my belly button. I think I did a pretty good job on it. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I did it. Tutorial, I'm not teaching you guys how to do it. I'm just showing you how I did it myself. And if you're willing to do it at home yourself and you know what you're doing, then go ahead. I'm not responsible for you messing up your belly in any way, shape, form, or possible. I have to do that disclaimer in every piercing video of mine. I 100% recommend going to a professional, but personally, I do not trust professionals, at least the places around me. Even when I got my nose pierced, I just, he, they were sketchy. Like, the place was just sketchy, and I just enjoy doing my piercings myself. I trust myself. So I know a lot of people are like that and they don't like going to professionals just because they don't trust anybody else to do stuff on their body, which I totally agree with. That's why I do mine at home, just because I do a lot of, lot of research. So if you guys are going to do it, make sure to do tons of research before you even do a piercing and make sure you know what you're doing. My belly button pierced since I was in like middle school, but I was never allowed to. And considering I'm almost 19, I just went ahead and pierced it myself because I trust myself the most. I ordered a kit online which I will show you later and I ordered needles and everything that I needed to pierce my belly button and I think this is probably the most professional piercing that I've done. If you guys haven't seen my other piercing videos I have a how to pierce your tragus, your cartilage, and your ears. So I'll put the links for those around or down below so you guys can check those out. So I'm going to stop talking so you guys can see how I did it and I hope you enjoy. So I'm going to show you guys what's in this kit and what I bought to do this. I bought this kit from www.bodyj4u.com. So there's a lot of things inside this kit and it was only $10. So it was a really good deal. The first thing in there are these sterilized forceps. As you can see, they're the plastic ones, and they are sterilized by EO gas. Then you have your body jewelry. You might not be able to see, but there is a blue one, a pink one, a like opal looking one that like changes colors in the light, a clear one, and they also have a clear retainer. I don't even know if you guys can see it right there. They literally put a clear retainer in. So you get one, two, three, four, five different belly rings, and I'm going to use the um, diamond clear one. The alcohol pads. You get 13 gauge needles, which I will not be using. Open this one already just to see what it would look like, but yeah, they're 13 gauge needles. And the gloves are also inside there. I'm trying not to touch them too much so they don't get dirty. But yeah, that's basically what's inside the whole kit. And then from painfulpleasures.com is where I bought my needles. Open one. I bought two of them so I could show one and practice it before I did it. So these are called canula needles. And basically they have a like plastic around the needle. So when you pierce something, the needle will come out. So that is what it looks like. I use this blanket as an example. When you pierce through it, you pull this out and a plastic tube stays in there and then you thread the jewelry through that. So basically um, that's what I'm going to be using. Like I just said, I'm not going to be using this needle because it's already been unsterilized and everything. I have bought another needle that I have not even opened yet. So that is what I'm going to be using and let's get started. I have everything set up as you can see. I have all the jewelry and some rubbing alcohol, gloves, forceps, q-tips, cotton balls, my H2 Ocean spray, alcohol, needle, pin, everything.
So I just finished piercing my belly button. Sorry, I'm using my phone to record this part because my camera died, but it's it's hurting kind of bad right now. Um, it didn't hurt when I did it, I guess because my adrenaline is just pumping. So it didn't really hurt while I was piercing it, but right now it just kind of feels like a really big bruise. So that kind of sucks, but other than that, it feels pretty good. It didn't really hurt that bad. I can still say that my cartilage was the worst piercing that I've had, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, then please comment down below and I will try to answer them. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!